everybody, it's Maddie from the Nina. Hope you guys are doing well and staying healthy. Um, we're back with another daily art challenge for you guys to try. Um, since we will not have access to the press for a little while, we thought we might do a little DIY printmaking project you can do from home um, using potatoes. So what we're gonna be doing is doing some potato stamping. This is a really quick, um, easy project you guys can do if you have a potato and a few other basic supplies kicking around. I've made a few quick little examples for you guys to see. Um, with this technique, you don't want to do anything super, super complicated because, I mean, it's a potato. Unless you're Michelangelo, it's never going to turn out 100% perfect. So just be okay with it looking a little rough around the edges, a little DIY, and everything will be great. So I'm just going to do a really basic shape to show you guys how to do this easily and safely. So I'm just going to do a diamond. If you have a sharp pencil um, and you're drawing into your potato, it will actually kind of just start cutting through it very naturally. So you can do a little kind of outline scratch and then just go over it a few more times. And if you just take your time and go slowly, it's going to just start wearing down into there. So you don't really have to use a sharp knife or anything like that for basic shapes. If you wanted to get more complicated, you could use a sharp tool of some sort or even a toothpick, um, but that's not totally necessary at this point. So we're just kind of doing the outline. And then once you have the outline kind of scratched in, you can take a butter knife or a regular knife. I would recommend a butter knife because potatoes are slippery and just start kind of working away around your design. So that the edge is higher than the rest of the potato. That will give us a nice imprint when we have it all carved out. You can see on this one, you want the kind of background of your stamp to be quite a bit lower than the area that you're going to be stamping. So I've carved out the areas around my diamond, which I don't want to show up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little paintbrush and just apply a light, light layer of paint. You can use acrylic, you can use a thicker layer of watercolor, you can use ink, whatever you have kind of kicking around. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, you could also just put it on a little piece of plastic or a little dish and just kind of dab your stamp into it to collect some paint on it. And then it's as simple as just pressing down Voila! So here's a little finished example just so you guys get an idea of what you can make. Um, so they're nice for doing borders on your paper that you can draw in the middle of. You could use them to make kind of an all-over abstract design. You could also, if you were using watercolor, stamp them really, really lightly and then draw or paint over top. You could also use them to decorate a sketchbook or a journal. The options are kind of endless. So um, please check it out and give it a try if you have a potato floating around in your house. And if you make something you want to share with us, please give us a shout on Instagram and we'll make sure everyone sees it. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.